G'day guys, good to have you along. I've got something today that I think is going to be a cool little series for people, not necessarily people that are into recording and mixing music as such, but people who enjoy listening to music. I think we all tend to listen to music often in a two-dimensional way, or even most of the time in mono, even though we have stereo systems. And the major reason for that is we tend to be moving around or not listening to the music in its desired environment or in the way it was mixed so that you could hear it. We listen on headphones, earbuds, speakers of different variances and all these kind of things and we don't always hear what was necessarily intended. And that's not just because of what we're listening on but often because of what we're actually listening to or not listening to. You hear some people's comments like, why do we like that song? Well, it's got a nice beat or the melody's nice or it's got cool lyrics or whatever. But what are we actually missing that's underneath all of this? And this is where I wanted to come along today and do kind of like a little listening analysis. Don't look at this screen here as something that's all scary. But what we're going to do is pull apart a song. A good friend of mine, Craig Faraway, he's lent me Alone Tonight, which is a song of his that we've put together and we've mixed it. Okay, So we get to see all the different things that go into making a song. So a song's made up of many parts. So you've got things like your drums, your vocals, your bass guitar, pianos, keyboards, all these kind of things that come together to make the song that you know. So if we actually start pulling apart these things and actually start listening for them, you might find, and I hope that you find, that you'll never listen to the music the same again because you'll be able to hear more detail and more depth inside of the song that you're actually listening to. Now probably the best way to do this is to actually just set yourself up, I would say in a situation a bit like this. Let's have a wee look here. Okay, So see this fella here? Yeah, he's sitting in front of a keyboard and whatnot. But what I would do is just grab the speakers that you listen to most frequently and set them up so they're about you know three feet away from each other. And you sit three feet in front of that in the middle. Okay. Now what would tend to happen then is if you actually close your eyes and you've got a song playing and it doesn't need to be that loud, just moderate volume, you can actually start hearing and almost seeing with your ears how that song is laid out. You can hear there's something on the left, there's something on the right, the vocal is in the middle and you can, if you move your head around it sort of changes a little bit. So you want to sit yourself in that position, that nice little sweet spot, in this case at about 60 degrees. If you've got headphones only, hey, we'll use those. You're still going to hear great detail. You may not get that true stereo sound. Yes, it's, it's left and right, but you're not actually getting that stereo signal hitting your face and moving around your face to your ears as a true stereo signal. But either way, the whole point is, let's start listening to music in a way that we never have before. So what I'm going to do is play the song that we're going to listen to, and then in subsequent videos, what we're going to do is we're going to pull apart different tracks or different parts of the song so that we can start listening for what it is. So this is kind of like a little introduction, really. Okay, so once I've gone from here, I'll play the next song for you. And it's Alone Tonight. So what we're going to do is, what I would probably do, would be the best thing, is to even just grab a notepad. And we're going to write down things like, what's the vocal doing? You know, where is this? What instruments are we hearing? Are there any effects on the vocals? Whereabouts in the left and right stereo spectrum are these instruments that we're listening to? Whereabouts are they placed? How far back are they? So depth, perception, all these kind of things. And we could probably do that just by using pen and paper and a um, and just jotting down the times of what you what you hear and when you hear them. Sound like a plan? I hope you guys get a lot out of this because a lot of people talk about music but they don't always hear what's really going on inside music and there's some very cool things that we're missing. So here you go, I'll load up the song for you, I'll let it play and this is the song that you can come back to when we're talking about it and listen through. Okay, here goes.
There you go, guys. There is the song. Okay. Now all you need to do is go get yourself ready, get yourself all set up, and wait for the second video. And we'll take a first attack on one of these things and one of these tracks inside the song. And we'll start pulling it apart and see what we get to. I want you guys to be able to hear the things that a lot of cool people can hear because they're actually listening inside the music. All right. Catch you soon. Cheers. <laughs> 